Got a brand new AVO install series adapter? Let's show you how to get it dialed in just right using Dante Controller. We'll cover naming, tweaking settings, and making that final satisfying audio connection. First, let's make life easier by renaming your AVO adapter. From the routing tab, just double click the device to open the device view window. And in the device configuration tab, give it a name that's clear and recognizable. Something that tells you exactly where it's located or what it's connected to. Next, let's set the sample rate and bit depth. For sample rate, choose the same sample rate as any devices you'll be sending audio to or receiving audio from. For bit depth, you'll find that setting in the encoding dropdown. By default, Dante AVO adapters are set to one millisecond latency, and in most cases, you can leave it right there. We recommend using DHCP for most systems. It's automatic and reduces the chance of configuration mistakes. But if you're on a tightly managed network and need specific IP addresses, you can switch to static and set the IP manually. In general, if you're connecting to professional AV gear, set the level to plus four dBU. For consumer devices, choose negative 10 dBV. Now that everything's configured, let's route some audio. We'll start by connecting the AVO input to the AVO output. Expand the channels, then click the grid where input channels one and two intersect with output channels one and two. You'll know a subscription is successful when you see the green check mark. Of course, AVO adapters aren't limited to connecting to each other. They can connect to any Dante-enabled device on the network. Let's try that now. I'll connect my AVOs to a few other devices on the network. Once again, look for the green check mark to confirm the subscription is successful. Want to double check that audio is received? Open the device view window again, head to the receive tab, and take a look at the speaker icon in the signal column. If it's lit up green, the audio is coming through. And just like that, your AVO adapter is fully set up, named, configured, and passing audio.